Hey guys, welcome back to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episode 284. Uh, we are back in his lobby. We're back after the little break of episodes that were like recaps. I've skipped them. Uh, obviously, we got left on the cliffhanger. One of the best episodes in the series. Uh, uh, Robin declaring that she wants to live to the crew. Uh, everyone getting ready. The crew, after hearing that, you know, and after like, we saw Robin's backstory, we got that declaration. Robin's crying. The crew is ready to go in. We're ready to fight CP9. Um, and that's where we kind of left off. Like we're, the, I think the fight's about to start. Uh, I During the little break there, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. I did a, a bounties prediction video. Uh, so I put that up. Just a little kind of like placeholder in between. Um, I only have time to do one episode today, 284, like in the, I, I wanted to do one, so it's kind of like, right, we're back, we're back in it, let's carry on, let's uh, truck on from here and get into Eddie's Lobby, because it's just, Eddie's Lobby hasn't disappointed, guys, it has not disappointed, it's been non-stop excellence, um, a couple of, like, if I were to have any criticisms about this arc, which I, like, I'm nitpicking here. But if there was things that I, and I'll do it, like, when I'm, because after this arc, I'm going to do, like, rankings of the arcs. After the after Annie's Lobby, I think it's 325 is when people were saying to me to do all the videos. After episode 325, I'm going to do a bunch of videos, kind of, like, for, like, the, the character tier list, like, ranking the arcs and stuff. Just a bunch of things. Um... Cause I feel like that's a good point to do that. Uh, Cause I, I wait. I was going to wait until I was a good few arcs in before I started ranking them, and then that's something I can like revisit later on in the series as well. The same with the character tier list to see how my opinions change uh, when I like see the newer arcs and stuff. But if like, the only criticism I have for any lobby, I would say is maybe it's a couple of the side characters haven't hit like the um the free-headed judge or maybe a couple of little uh, villains but the good thing is like we didn't drag on it for too long which is what i love about it is even though i'm like all oh, right okay like this is maybe i'll i'm not too keen on this character but it's a kind of like bang we're away whereas somewhere like uh like <laughs> the, the joke the running joke is saturday from skypea like, that, we lingered on that for a while, which made it more noticeable for me. Whereas in this arc, it's just been excellent, excellent, excellent. And then, whenever you get, like, into a point where you're like, all oh, right, okay, things are great, great episode, great uh, build-up and stuff, it switches gears, and then it's like, all oh, right, okay, Luffy's got this new technique that he wants to try. It turns out it's bloody awesome, and then we switch again. Oh, we're getting into a, a backstory here that's going to make you cry about Robin, and then we'll come back to the present where we're declaring war on the world government. It's just, it's bang, 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 like just so much happening, and it's just, the, the pace is so quick, and you got all, I like that they don't miss things though, it's like, even though the pace is quick, and we're hitting all these very emotional beats, you still get time to have like a little side thing where, um, you know, Usopp's converting these giants and stuff, and a couple of little gags, uh, as we're going through, like we we still managed to get the Zoro getting lost gag in there. Yeah, there's there's just the the character development and the 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 way they can do such heavy. Like that's the, I think that's the the beauty of One Piece is a lot of shows struggle to find the balance between the humor and the more heavy like sad stuff, and then it's like I remember. Um, there's certain series where I'm just kind of like, yeah, like I, I just, I, I fell off it because I was like, either the humour was put into the wrong moments or the serious stuff, they just didn't, it didn't hit, you know? And like this, the, the masterfully done in One Piece. But anyway, I'll save all that for when I'm doing the kind of reviews and the rankings and stuff. Today, we're getting back in. We're going to see what's going to happen now. Now that we've declared war on them, What's next? What's about to happen? Like, we still need to get across this drawbridge to get in there to fight, or are CP9 going to come to us to fight? 
I don't know how it's going to play out. So let's jump in, see the aftermath of this and see what's going to happen uh, here in Ennis Lobby. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Join me on my One Piece journey. Everyone that has joined me, thank you all so, so much for watching, liking, commenting. You guys are the best. Thank you. And let's do it. Episode 284. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys as well. Oh, nice. Mozu Kiwi getting the levers again. Is that us? The drawbridge good to go now? Are we going for it straight away? Nice, guys. Let's do it. Yeah. Exactly, Sanji. Good timing. Perfect timing. Who's up? You ready? You're trembling with anticipation. I like it. Yeah, exactly. He looks evil. He's <laughs> Zoro's ready. Oh, I like the Uso with the pose. I like it. Oh, don't, don't come back to this. I just want to forget about this person. I just wish this wasn't a character, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, Polly, just, just deal with him. Oh, Zambai as well, actually. Nice. Okay. Yeah, oh, so it's, it's going to be, it's going to be different people, isn't it? Okay. I actually, I actually prefer this too if it was just a free-headed man. <laughs> I actually prefer this. <laughs> I don't know why. I love the proportions of the legs <laughs> to their bodies. Oh no. Did that stop it? Oh, okay. Luffy, you're up, bud. Spring across. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's taking the over. Guys, we need to move. Yeah. We need to go, Luffy. Oh, yeah, that... I forgot that Frankie's not tied up anymore. Is that... Pluton? Is that the blueprints? Okay. Yes. Oh. Kaku Yuga. Oh, yeah, because they were working as, as shipwrights. See, yeah, they know. She's like, yeah, you guys know this is the real deal. You're hiding them inside you. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's got the little, <laughs> the little bit in his stomach. So that's where he was hiding them. Oh, Frankie. He wouldn't have pulled these out if he wasn't about to do something here. Oh. Oh, the animation's changed, man. It looks great now. Rumors of where we were being brought to this damn place. I came to realise. Yeah, Frankie's had a few moments with Robin. He's seen what's happening here. Spender. Tom and Iceberg risked their life to protect. Yeah, we ain't giving that over to them. The wish of this weapon's... If the ancient weapon fell into the hands of an idiot, yeah, exactly. It's a countermeasure. Yeah, it's true that if you use Nico Robin, you can revive the ancient weapon, even if he doesn't want to help you. Yeah, as long as there's a chance. Yeah, that's the that's what Iceberg was saying. But she's got friends who. Yes, exactly. Frankie knows now. Now that he knows Robin, he knows the Straw Hats. Oh my god, he's got to destroy these, isn't he? He's going to destroy these blueprints right here. Is he going to throw them off the edge? Tom. Yeah, thinking about what Tom would do. Oh, that's right, he can spit fire. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes. Oh, yes. Was that mission for nothing then? Done. Up in smoke. 
This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. Nice, Frankie. Oh, yeah, a five year mission. Oh, too bad, guys. Too bad. Just look, yeah, look at it burning. All that time wasted. Come on, Frankie. Essentially, something like this should remain a secret. Yeah. Now there's no longer a power to fight back against the ancient weapon. <laughs> If nothing's done and Nico Robin falls into your hands, it'll be hopeless. Yeah. But if the Straw Hats win... Exactly. I made a bet. Oh, come on, Frankie. Yes. He's joining the crew. He's going to be a member soon. So... Oh, my God. That's right. He doesn't know as, as people are there. Oh, oh, this is great. He was talking to Robin to us saying, oh, you, uh, you must be glad that your people have came to save you. And look at everyone there for him. Oh, that is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to start crying, isn't he? Yeah, I, I knew he was going to start crying. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. I love that. This is great. <laughs> okay, Luffy. Yeah, <laughs> calm down. Let them have a moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love that. So when Nabi changed their tune. Oh, that's right. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Looks like you helped my underlings. Either boss. The, the great Frankie will add my super fighting power to... Yeah, come and join the crew. I'm still holding. And he's standing. Exactly, he's right next to him and he's saying that. Oh my god, he just push him off there. Yeah. But I hate this spandum guy. But look, Luffy, grab him. Oh, like Frankie can use the chain thing, can he? Yeah, he's, there's no way. Like, he'll, he'll grab on or somebody will grab him. Oh, Kokoro? What? Oh my god, is she bringing the train? Oh, oh, we're jumping in the train again. Oh, the giant's guarding the way. Here we go. Oh, yep, Luffy realised what's happening. Yeah, I have to just run these people over. Come on, Kokoro. You'll be the MVP of the arc if you just run these people over. Oh, he's going to jump. Right, is he going to try and go on the train as it's jumping? <laughs> oh. oh, I love it when he does stuff like this. Here we go. Oh, and it's going to catch Frankie as well. Oh, yeah, he recognises because he, he built, he built Rocket Man, didn't he? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's perfect timing right there. Woofy nailed it. There you go. Great landing by Sanji. Oh, Frankie. Oh, poor Frankie. I thought he was going to land on top of it. This brings back memories. To... Oh, yeah. I love how much they're referencing Tom in this episode. Yeah. He's a great character. Oh, oh, the parallels. Tom helping the King of the Pirates and then Luffy there saying that. Yes. Exactly. Now we're helping Luffy, who's going to be the next King of the Pirates. Yes. <laughs> Look at Nami. <laughs> oh. Yeah, time again. Oh, so Fra Frankie's with us now, so he'll probably go up against someone as well. Right, so that was that was great. That was great. I love that. I love the moment with Frankie, with the blueprints. I love the kind of like the way he was like describing it as he was doing it to basically say, here's the reasoning as to why I'm doing this. 
Um, this is why I'm doing it. This is what I believe in now. Uh, here's the reason. And it was good because it was a kind of like little summary as to be like, listen, we don't want this. Like, it was basically so like Tom didn't want this, uh, Iceberg didn't want this. The only reason we kept these was because there was a threat. We, it was our duty because if somebody used Nico Robin one day and they had an ancient weapon, this was the countermeasure. We didn't, we don't want to use this, we don't want to build this. We had to keep these blueprints for that fact. But they saying there, it's like, now that I've met Nico Robin, I know what kind of person she is, and I know what her friends are like. I'm going to burn this because I would rather believe in that and kind of like take that bet. Like you said, it's like, I'm going to bet on them. I'm going to bet that they're going to save their friend. And obviously she isn't like, it's that way where I can see why Iceberg and still like, Iceberg's actions make a lot more sense to me now in Water 7 because it's like, he doesn't know what kind of person Robin is. All he's heard is the stories and all he knows is why she poses a threat. Like Tom's told, like a uh, iceberg listen there's a girl out there that um comes from this place and she is a threat because she can revive the ancient weapon because she can read this like poneglyphs or is it a language would you call it i don't know like what you would call it right but she can read this ancient text and so as long as she's out there and like evil people or people could get like could use her to get this like just just imagine if she was actually on board with crocodile you know what i mean that would right now crocodile would have if not access to at least the location of an ancient weapon because alabasta did have that information uh so now that frankie knows what robin's all about he knows what the straw hats are all about so he's basically saying right that's me now I can get rid of this because Tom would have got rid of it uh, in this situation. I'm going to do it because that is the way I feel. I'm taking this bet. I love that. And I love uh, that. I like that he got that moment there with all of his kind of like people, even though it was funny watching Luffy, you know, just berate them. But because I there was the interaction, one of the last episodes where he said to Robin, oh, you should be happy. Your people have came for you. And at the time, I was like, oh, but your people are there as well. Like, the Frankie family have actually came to get you. So that was nice. That was a nice moment. Uh, and uh, there cannot be even, like, a shadow of a doubt that Frankie is joining the crew. Like, there's absolutely no way we go out of this arc and he doesn't. At least with, like, the stuff with, uh, not Robin, um, Vivi. I was hoping that VV was going to join the crew, but during that arc, there was never a point where I felt like VV has to, like, she's definitely joining, like, it's, it's set in stone. I, because in my mind, I was always thinking, it's like, right, she's doing all this for her country, she's the princess of her country, blah, blah, blah. It's so set up for Frankie to be part of the crew. Because the problem is now, now that we, now he, we know that Frankie is a legendary shipwright, right? Uh, and we need a shipwright. Then, if he, let's just say he didn't join the crew, anybody that we got after that is just going to be like, uh, I'm, I'm always going to be like, oh, I wish Frankie had joined. <laughs> you know, I wish Frankie had joined the crew. So I don't see anybody it being anybody else. Frankie has to become the shipwright on the crew. How it's going to happen, I don't know. Um, like, I feel like he has, I don't think it will take much convincing, uh, because he, you could tell he's, he's had a couple of great moments, like, bouncing off the people he's interacted with so far. Like, him and Usopp and Sanji on the train together were fantastic. I feel like him and Usopp in the workshop, when they were talking, and he, like, Usopp had him crying and stuff, because he, he can see how much these people love that ship, especially Usopp. And then he can see the nature of them on the train, like I said. And then the time he spent just sitting talking with Robin as the two of them have been captured in the in that car. Like I feel like he uh, he's he's all he's he's already bouncing off the crew and fitting in great. 
and he's not even joined. So I don't I don't see it being a problem. I, I do find it funny that uh, Luffy still holds the grudge for Usopp and he's talking about it as if he isn't there when he's standing on the platform right next to him. And like even Frankie saying it, it's like he's he's there. <laughs> there he's uh that's great. That's great. The the children like uh what's her name? Chimney be. Do these children have no sense of danger? Well I was thinking that. See when like when they were they were charging towards this ramp to jump over this waterfall into this building to fight CP9 and like uh Kokoro was just like, Oh right, you know, sound the Send the thing, let them know we're coming. I'm like, what? Are we taking this? Are we taking this kid in to, to this? It's like, what's happening here? Uh, are we going to still pretend that we're hostages? What's the game plan, Kokoro? Yeah, listen, I, I'm happy. She's helping us out, and obviously, you know, she's she's. I, I like that. I love that little thing she said there about Tom and about what Tom did for Roger, and then giving the parallel to what they're doing right now for Luffy. And I love that they, they cut to Tom back in the flashback. Tom saying, I'm proud of what I did for Roger, uh, the, the King of the Pirates. And then it cuts to Luffy when he first met them at the platform, where he just came out and said, ah, I'm Luffy, I'm going to be King of the Pirates. Nice. That was nice. And, you know, it's just... It's just a well done episode. A well done episode. I love the fact that they showed you because, like, the thing about CP9 is the arrogance of them and the kind of, like, calm, like, st they're smiling and stuff when they're coming over and everything. Even though Balloon has been beat, they still don't see us as a threat. I loved seeing the anguish on, um, what do you call it? The three that were undercover, like, uh, Kaku, uh, Kaku, Luchi, and Khalifa. I love seeing those three. This, like you could see the like oh and then like Spandam was in despair but those three you could tell it hurt them when he bought those blueprints because they'd spent five years looking for them I love that it's a little bit of a you know there take that nice one from Frankie uh yeah guys I, I now that Frankie's on the train with us though and he's free we just need to get Robin it, it makes me have to rethink my matchups now of like uh, straw hats against um, straw hats against CP nine because does it work out now? I don't. We're still mismatched then because it means now we have one extra, I believe. But I feel like I feel like they want to probably show off Frankie a bit more. Like it was cool to see that fight what he had on the train with Nero, but I feel like you know, I don't know. I don't know, it's, but then who do you take? Because you want all the straw hats to get, you know, their moments, to get their fights. So I don't know who I have to be missing out, unless they do a kind of like two-on-one situation. Like, um, like similar to when Usopp and uh, Chopper teamed up in Alabaster. Because it could be kind of like two of them, two of the kind of like weaker straw hats against like a stronger CP9 member. If that makes sense. So it could be like, uh, you know, one of the one of the, I, I, you know, I'd love to see actually. I'd love to see Sanji and Nami teaming up just because to, to see how Sanji would be able to deal with that. <laughs> I don't think he'd be able to focus. Uh, but yeah, that that be that's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see how it's all going to go with the fights. Like, are we all going to separate? Is it going to be a like a just a big brawl? We don't know. We don't know. But yeah, guys, great episode. Fantastic episode. Showcase more of Frankie and his appeals and why I think he's going to join the crew. Definitely. Um, and yeah, now we're in it. We're across. We're in the final building. And it's time. We need to get Robin. That is the main thing. I feel like, like Rel K, Spandam is obviously scared out of his mind and is like doesn't want to take any chances and he just wants to get through these gates. We cannot let that happen. So we need to get to them, get Robin safe, and then we can worry about CP9. But first priority must be Robin. Because she can't leave. We cannot lose her through these gates, guys. I, if, if, 
If all of this art, all this build up, and we get here, we do the confrontation, we declare war on the world government, we get that tragic backstory, we get Robin declaring that she wants to live. Uh, if we go through all of that, and they don't get to Robin, I'm not going to lie, it would be a ballsy move. It would be devastating, right? If she took away, my God, like, but I don't see them doing that. I don't see all that happening and then that, because I would be devastated. It would just be like a absolute gut punch. But hopefully, when that doesn't happen, we get to Robin, she has to come back with us onto the crew. Uh, we need to mend these, these, you know, we need to get these people back. You know, Robin and Usopp, Water 7 was tragedy. Water 7 was just like, the crew got rocked. And now we get them back and we get Frankie, a new member, shipwright. You know, all steam ahead. Let's do it. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you made this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has uh, and uh, joins me all the time on these videos, chats me about One Piece. Thank you all so, so much, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.